Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are having a wonderful week. If you are new here, I am Brandy. I am a stay-at-home mom and wife. We have three kids ages 10, 8, and 3 and this is my first official disaster messy house clean with me in this new house of ours. We are 100% still in the phase of moving in. So now with Christmas kind of taking over, everything is just everywhere. But today we are going to start getting things into their permanent homes. It might not be organized how I want it in that permanent home, but at least it's going to be in the area that it needs to be in. We are going to be starting here in the dining room. This is going to be my staging area for all of our Christmas decor. I am getting so confused on how I want to decorate certain areas, especially our entryway. In Florida, we had an entryway, but it was pretty narrow and it just kind of like threw you right into our living room. So here I have like an actual entryway and in the house that we were building, I was not going to have an entryway. So I'm going to go ahead and start in the dining room and this way I will have a good blank space that I can just kind of set everything out. That way I can kind of wrap my head around what I have, what I want to try to find on Marketplace, what I want to try and find at the stores. So we are just going to go ahead and start clearing off this table <laughs> and this is what I do with leftover Halloween candy every single year. A few days after Halloween, I will grab a gallon size Ziploc bag, I will put the kids name on it, and then I will dump all the candy in there, and then I will put it on the top shelf of the pantry. And if they go a little while without asking for it, then you can either toss it, donate it, send it to work with your spouses, whatever you need to do to just get rid of the candy. And it usually works like a charm. This year, Mackenzie has asked for her candy, so it didn't work out as well as I was hoping, but... The bag is back up in the pantry and we will just wait it out a few more days. I'm walking down the street on clouds instead of the concrete. I'm dancing through. Everything's about to come my way. Nothing can ruin my date. No matter what anyone does or say, I smile at fools. No, I don't care because I am on my way up and I won't stop. I won't slow down. Steady on my feet, I'm going to rise. No, I won't stop. It is my time. Mm -hmm. Cause I know what it's like to be broke. I know what it's like when nothing goes your way. So I'm gonna let myself enjoy the fruit from this lucky day. I know it looks like I am all over the place. I am so confused. I don't know what I'm doing. And that's because honestly, I am. I am trying so hard to think every time I touch an item, where should it go? Where do I have like items at? The category that is stumping me right now is probably sentimental. I made Mackenzie for her monthly pictures, I made her a onesie every single month with like that month and then just like a funny little saying. So now it's like I want to keep all 12 onesies. So I'm trying to just kind of figure out where I want to store that stuff at. I know she's probably not going to want those onesies and I keep seeing the memes on Facebook that are like, oh, my mom just gave me a huge box full of my third grade report cards. Yay. So I'm just trying to figure out what should I really keep? What do I not need to worry about? What am I putting too much thought into? I do have a filing size container that I've been putting their schoolwork in and like pictures, things like that. It's just all of the sentimental stuff that is really getting me. I mean, can I store that in the basement? But then it's the basement. Don't they collect moisture and all of that? So you'll have to let me know. What do you do with your sentimental items? Where do you store it? Do you keep them? Do you give yourself a limit of what you're allowed to keep? I have a ginormous, like literally a ginormous bin that my parents just brought up when they came full of old yearbooks, photos, you name it, it is in there and I just don't know what to do with it all. So let me know how you handle sentimental items in your house. If you have any tips or tricks, let me know in the comments down below how you handle it all. I am on my way up. I won't slow down. Yeah, I am on my way up. I won't slow down. I'm strolling down.
This dresser we picked up off Facebook Marketplace a few weeks ago, and I don't think I've actually shared it in a video yet, but I have plans to refinish it, and I am so excited about it. I'm tempted to do like the two-tone, like keep the three drawers on top a wood color and then paint the bottom like a solid color. So I'm very excited about that and I have so many updates in my head that I want to do for this house and I'm like, Brandy, you have all the time. Just calm down. You don't have to do it all at once, but I do want to start on this dresser. I want to put more of like the squares. I'm going to have to look it up, like the molding squares in the white trim like under the chair rail. I want to make that look more complete. I just have so many ideas in my head and I need to refinish our dining room table. It did okay in storage but it had a fleece blanket laying on top of it and then stuff was on top of the table and it just kind of messed up the seal on the table. So I want to sand it all down and it really needs to be anyway. It wasn't the best paint job or stain job when we got it. You can tell they used very, very beat up wood. So there's like a bunch of holes I want to fill in and it's just going to be a project. So when I refinish the dresser, then I'll have an idea of the color I need to try and match for the table. We are going to go ahead and finish up in here. It feels so good to have this room organized. That is the bin right there of all the decor, just random decor that I've been picking up. I have all my floral stems in the bin underneath that. So I don't really have somewhere I want to keep it yet. And it's a good central location in the dining room. And as I find things in boxes, I can just kind of stick it in there. But I do need to find a new place for it. The street with all of my favorite songs on repeat. I'm dancing through. Everything's about to come my way. And I don't care if you spill coffee on me or if the sky is gray or blue. No, I don't care because I am on my way up and I won't. I won't slow down Standing on my feet I'm gonna rise up No, I won't stop It is my time Cause I know what it's like to be broke, yeah I know what it's like when nothing goes your way So I'm gonna let myself enjoy The fruit from this lucky day Yeah, I am on my way I won't slow. My super sweet little three-year-old Mackenzie got slime in a goodie bag from a little festival they had at school on Halloween. And this is the result of that slime. I didn't see it under the table and the purple slime literally stained the flooring. Here I'm using the razor blade and I didn't realize the razor blade was on upside down. So it definitely worked and it's probably better it was upside down because I was worried about nicking the floor. I was able to get most of it up with a little Dawn power wash and my opposite end of the razor end, but there is a slight tint of purple left over. <laughs> I told myself I was not going to be super chatty today and here I am. I need some advice. This house has flat paint and I'm not sure if I've mentioned that in a previous video. I'm sure I probably have because I'm traumatized by it, but I cannot get the walls clean here. I finally was like, you know what? I'm just going to try the microban. Mackenzie has smeared something all down the wall when she turned the light switch on and it's even down here. And now this is semi-gloss, so I can just wipe it right up. So if you have any advice on how to deal with the flat paint, I wanna try and make it as long as we can with this paint because that will be a huge undertaking. So let me know if you have any tricks in the comments down below. What's it like? 
back to hold his hand when he tells you that you're all he wants and it's midnight oh i'm thinking about him i have got him on my mind but he doesn't know my name and i'm running out of time i wish he felt the same and i'm acting stupid like every day don't know what to do or what i should say Today in the kitchen, we are going to be tackling two problem drawers, this one and then our silverware drawer. We are going to be unpacking a few boxes and just kind of trying to organize the best we can. Now, I have already purchased a dresser off of Marketplace. I got it for $10, but it is a complete fixer upper, has it feels like there's an inch of paint that I'm going to have to scrape off of it and I'm going to be making it into a coffee bar which will go in that corner where all of the boxes are stacked behind me and so this drawer I want to just have lids and things like that in but I kind of need it to do the coffee and the lids for now so I'm going to make it work to the best of my ability and it does turn out pretty good. So right now I'm just going to stack the kids lids and you'll see I take things out and put them back and take things out and put them back. This was totally not rehearsed. I am organizing on a whim right now. So bear with me as I move stuff around, but we are going to turn this into a lid drawer along with the coffee K-cups and things like that. And then we will just keep kind of moving on. I am so relieved that I was able to get a few boxes unpacked. If you've been following, you know I have been very overwhelmed by the amount of boxes we have. We do have a lot of cabinets, or maybe we don't have a lot of cabinets, we just have very big cabinets, which means I have to store more than one type of thing in each cabinet. And it's just very hard. I'm trying to like wrap my brain around it. Like I'll have to have my cutting boards in with my pots and pans and my baking sheets. So I'm trying to make it as organized as possible. 
without it feeling super cluttered. So now you saw that I took the coffee back out and we are going to put in another one of these little dividers. My mason jar lids have just been sitting on the counter in a little rubber white bin, like you can see it on the counter. And I was like, you know what, it's time to get them off the counter. Even if it means I can store less coffee, I would rather have them off of the counter. So we're going to go ahead and make a home for the mason jar lids. I use mason jars for everything. Leftovers, when I cut the kids fruit up, just everything under the sun. So I definitely wanted my lids to have a new home. And then we're just going to kind of work the coffee into it and maybe that will motivate me to get that coffee bar done. I'm so excited. I want to do floating shelves and I mean you know the whole, you know the drill. My brain is just filled with ideas. I just have to put them into action. Now we're hiding in the crowd. I'll be whatever you want me to be. You know who I'm on your side. And I feel like I'm running in circles around you. Mm. And I know I've been. This poor pantry of mine needs a complete overhaul. I'm just going to kind of doctor it up a bit today. My eight-year-old son came in here the other day and organized it for me, and he did such a good job. It was the cutest thing on the planet. What you doing, bud? Organizing. Organizing. I'm hoping I can at least get through the holidays with the pantry like it is. The shelves in there, if you can see under the shelves, they have that really long bracket that is attached to the wall and it is making it very hard for me to use my organizers in there. So I'm going to have to get creative and it's going to take a little brain power. So I'm going to put that off for a little bit, but it's definitely functioning, especially after Scotty got done with it. And we'll just kind of keep the door closed for now. Mm -hmm. to the good days here's to the sorrows if this is a mistake i know about tomorrow i don't want to fight no more because i don't feel the need no more no just want to make it stop maybe it's something in the water or maybe we just hit the end of the road right now it doesn't even matter it's too late to let it go and that's why i wish you the best to say goodbye you start to get dressed and then we cry because we both know it's gonna hurt but not as much as this does we had a good run don't say we didn't i was your first love and you were my first one Cheers to all the memories, the venom and the remedies, yeah Promise I won't forget, yeah Maybe it's something in the water Or maybe we just hit the end of the road Right now it doesn't even matter It's too late not to let it go And that's why I wish you the best to see to get dressed and then we cry Cause we both know it's gonna hurt But not as much as this does So baby, bye It's for the best and you know why You gotta leave me here tonight Before we make this even worse It's gonna hurt even more This is when I realized the razor blade was on the wrong way. So thankfully I realized it and I'm not trying to 
scrape the stove top with the razor blade on backwards, but I'm just gonna go ahead and take the Dawn Power Wash and try and scrape off whatever residue is left from whichever meal we cooked last. I usually use the pink stuff, but I already had this one out, so I went ahead and used the razor blade. I love following up with some type of glass cleaner. It really makes the stovetop shine. Once we finish up with the stovetop, Michael is actually home and he is going to help me hang my pantry sign that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. Wall decor was 50% off, so I snagged that and I love how it turned out. And then after he hangs the pantry sign, I thought I would take you guys along as we try and move, well not try, we did, as we move Madison's dresser upstairs. Michael and I did the entire moving in process by ourselves and it was quite the experience. So I thought I would document what we looked like trying to get stuff up the stairs. La, 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 la. I'm really hoping this is one of the last pieces of large furniture we have to move upstairs. Taking the drawers out definitely helped and I labeled the inside of the drawers so I was able to just put them right back in. But it is so funny, Michael and I are so different. Here, I was trying to think like, okay, you should be here, I should be here, we need to carry it this way to have it this way. And he's just like, let's just do it, we'll deal with it when we get there. So this is us backing up and we're gonna turn around. We were trying to get it through, not having to turn it up, but you'll see that that did not work out and we were being so careful because the walls like ding and scratch so easily so I didn't want to mess the walls up any more than we already are just living here so we ended up going back out again tilting it up and then that finally allowed us to get the dresser into the bedroom along with our little helper Mackenzie so let's get this thing inside the bedroom and then I went ahead and put the drawers in it and this is the completed project this thing was taking up so much room in the garage so it is definitely one of those things that feel good to get checked off my to-do list speaking of that to-do list it's kind of like an Instagram versus reality thing. This is what is in the background when everyone is showing you their gorgeous clean houses. So right now, I am going to separate my Halloween decor, I'm gonna separate my fall decor, and then I'm gonna separate the outside fall and Halloween decor. That way, as the season progresses, I can kind of grab the bins that I need. It definitely feels good to have this done, and these are going to be going outside onto the porch, and we will be carrying them to the workshop in the backyard. There are two lofts. We are going to be storing Christmas and Halloween decor out there. It is so nice to have somewhere that I know this is going to be going to, and I have extra room in bins. Like, you'll notice the bins are not completely full, so how exciting is that? <laughs> Now going straight from fall to Christmas decor, I'm going to be holding on to a lot of our moving materials. That way when Christmas is over and it is time to pack everything back up, I can use some of that material to repack my ornaments. I use the same baggies and paper towels and tissue paper year after year and the stuff is starting to look a little rough. So I'm going to be using all of this packing material, just kind of repurpose it and use it for my Christmas decor. But here I'm 
I'm just gonna kind of organize this. There's no rhyme or reason to my Christmas decor yet. I'm kind of wanting to organize it better, like maybe buy room and then maybe give each kid their own bin. Everything is just kind of lumped together right now. So I'll definitely have to think about that before it is time to put all of this away. I feel like I keep talking about putting stuff away and it just feels like as soon as you're bringing the stuff out, it's time to put it away. So I do love putting up my Christmas decor just so I can enjoy it a little bit longer. The month of December is always a blur. You blink and it's over and you don't even know what happened. So putting my stuff up in November allows me that time to just kind of sit back and enjoy and really soak everything in because once December hits, it's school parties, it's teacher gifts, it's kids gifts, parents gifts. It's just a whole lot of stuff going on. So it is so nice having everything up in November just to kind of sit back, relax, enjoy it, remember the reason for the season and just take it all in. What you do You guys, I didn't talk for an entire song. Can you believe that? I am pretty sure that is a record. Cleaning the windows was definitely a domino chore. Once I cleaned the windows, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna wipe the stove down and then I'm gonna wipe the dishwasher down and that led to the garbage can. And from the garbage can, I was like, you know what? The kitchen is very clean. The kids are being good. Everyone is settled right now. I'm gonna unload some boxes. So from there, I got some boxes unloaded. The dishwasher was pretty empty, so I took our drinking glasses that were still packed up and I put them into the dishwasher. So getting myself going on that one chore dominoed into the other chores. So even if you don't feel like doing something, definitely just try and get started. Even if you never find the motivation to keep going, at least you got that one project done, but you never know, it might trickle down and you might be able to check off a whole lot of stuff on your to-do list. You think that 
said I should calm down And that I'm overthinking everything about you And that we're good the way we are mm -hmm. But I don't know that much about you What things you like and what you don't Before I'm too invested, I should probably ask ya, ask you all my questions, get to know you better. Why can you be trusted? Will you take me for granted? And will you lock me down? I know I'm feeling something for I love a good game of dishwasher and Tetris. I was so determined to get all of these glasses into the dishwasher that I just kept moving stuff around until I was able to get the job done. But now we're gonna move on to some baking supplies and my baking cabinet was one of my very favorite projects that I did in my house and I will link my baking cabinet video in the description box below. I love how it turned out and I do want to recreate that here. So I'm going to be using all of the same bins and little containers and things like that to make this a gorgeous baking cabinet again, but this is a larger cabinet. So I'm gonna have to mess with everything and figure out how to incorporate more things into it. I don't know, it's just really weird. It goes back to the whole, my cabinets are very large and I'm going to have to get creative with grouping things. I'm going to sort these cookie cutters real quick though. And I'm gonna put all of the Christmas ones in the far left bin. That way when it is time to make Christmas cookies in a few weeks, they will be ready to go. But after we finish up the baking cabinet, we are going to be doing a little makeover on our silverware drawer. And that is definitely one of our problem drawers. And I got a new silverware organizer. So I will be back on when we start organizing the silverware to chat. I could be wrapped around your arms instead of being lonely. We could be gazing at the stars, but now it feels just like I wandered off into a room and closed the door behind me. I never gave the key to you, even though I wanted to. I should be trying something new, but now my body's aching. I'm tired of dwelling in the dark, it's just that my heart can't take it. I didn't know what it would cost me when I let you go. I feel alone, and I'm just singing, mm, mm, mm. it should have been you. Another time, another place, I just know. Picking a silverware organizer was a very big deal for me because as all of you know, I do not like using metal silverware. I don't even like touching metal silverware. I probably have a crazy case of goosebumps right now just touching all the silverware. I prefer to use that Ikea silverware to be quite honest. So when I picked out an organizer, I wanted to make sure it had enough spots for the plastic silverware and the metal silverware. I mean, I could have totally gone without the metal silverware, but I guess I can act like a big kid at some point. And the knives, I did get a new knife block and I was gonna get it out on this night, but I was starting to get tired. So those black knives will end up going down to the basement. They were in the camper, but then I decided I liked them. So I brought them in. I did get a new knife block. So when I decorate the kitchen for Christmas, I will incorporate that. But right now we are just going to run the dishwasher and call it a night. We had a crazy productive day. 
Thank you so much for joining me and hanging out and just listening to me talk. I enjoy making these videos for y'all so much. It's not even funny. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you had fun today, I would love to have you join my little family here on YouTube. I will see you all in my next one. Bye. I don't know where she came from. Kind of turned me upside down. I just don't know what to do. I want to spend the night at hers and bring her one of my t-shirts so it smells like her perfume. Now I really get what the love songs are talking about. And I just want to tell her how I feel, scream it out loud. Have you ever been in love? Have you ever lost your head? Have you felt like you were out of breath when you saw her in that dress?